so hi everyone today we'll be talking about one of the most popular deep learning based recommendation system that is called as neural collaborative filtering uh, so we will first of all explaining what is the architecture behind neural collaborative filtering and what is the core idea of neural collaborative filtering and eventually in my next video i would be covering about the codes or how to code out a neural collaborative filtering how to implement neural collaborative filtering in python so let's get started so basically before starting off, we need to understand that what is matrix factorization because neural collaborative filtering can be taken as an advanced version of matrix factorization. So if you have been following my blogs or blogs, you already know that I've covered what is matrix factorization. But just for a recap, basically it is a very important mathematical concept which aims at decomposing a matrix, that is breaking a matrix into multiple smaller or multiple matrices a b c d e f g multiple matrices such that when we multiply all these broken matrices into one the decompo uh, the particle matrix that we've got we can regain our original matrix m this is called as matrix factorization matrix factorization can be achieved with multiple algorithms like svd uh, lu decomposition eigen decomposition qr decomposition etc that i have already discussed in a previous video and blog so you can check that out now basically uh, if you haven't heard Matrix factorization is a very prominent algorithm for collaborative filtering. So eventually, what is collaborative filtering that I have already discussed in my previous blog and video. But just for again a recap, collaborative filtering basically aims at recommending items to users based upon user preferences. So it is not, not considering any feature from the user or from the item, but just user preference. Like for example, if uh, there is a uh, user X who is watching movies 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and eventually you are, you have watched movies one two three four so you are very similar to user one and eventually if there is a similarity between you and some user x whatever user x has seen will be getting recommended to you and whatever you are seeing will be recommended to user x so there is a, a base level idea of what is collaborative filtering it has nothing to do with the features of the either the user or the items do remember it's just depending upon what items you are using if the preferences are same you will get the same recommendation now, in case of matrix factorization, as it is, uh, as you can observe that on a baseline level, there is no non-linear operation getting performed. So you are just taking a matrix, you are breaking into multiple matrices using some linear transformations. Now, because of that, matrix decomposition, when while while using for collaborative filtering, is unable to capture non-linear relationships. Now, how to capture non-linear relationships? Obviously, neural networks. So most, uh, so even if you are not working recommendation system, any other problem statement also. For introducing non-linearity in your relationships, for capturing non-linear relationships, you are usually going for neural networks. So basically, NCF can be considered as an advanced version of matrix factorization, which alongside capturing linear relationships also captures non-linear relationships and hence more powerful as compared to matrix factorization. So now we will be discussing about the architecture of NCF. So here you can see that, first of all, talking about the input and the output. So input and out input is basically a user and item one hot encoded vectors that are getting fed separately so basically the whole idea around is that we are feeding a user item pair and eventually we wish to know the score whether the rating the user might give it to you if we are using explicit feedback else whether the user will use that item or not if the data set is for implicit feedback so i've already discussed these two concepts as well previously if you have missed that explicit uh, explicit feedback is basically uh, the feedback that the user is giving directly like giving ratings giving text reviews etc while implicit feedback is basically the user is not given directly but you are taking an inference out of it like for example if the user is clicking on a web page or the user is clicking on some image so you are assuming that the user is liking that image that is why he's clicking on it right that is called as implicit feedback it is not a direct feedback coming from the user but it does show some preference towards an item right that is why the user is clicking so basically, we'll be feeding in the 100 encode vector of user and item. Eventually, as you can see that this particular neural architecture, NCF architecture is divided into two branches. One is a GMF layer, other is a multi-layer perceptron that is a general DNN that you can consider. And then eventually there is a merger between the two outputs to form a new MF layer. So I will be explaining everything one by one. The input and the output, as told earlier, NCF handles user item pairs one at a time uh, and depending upon what is the out, uh, what is the data set like if it is explicit feedback we would be expecting some rating by the user in the as an output else 
the probability of the user to use that item if the data set is implicit feedback. Now comes the embedding layer. As you can see that there would be four embedding layers that we'd be using. Two each for each of the vectors. So like we would be having separate embeddings getting used for both of these branches for both of the items. So for a user, we'll be generating two embeddings, one for the GMF, one for MLP. Similarly, for item also, we will be generating two embeddings, one for GMF and one for MLP. So there will be four embeddings that we will be generating, nothing fancy. Now moving on to the two major branches that have been talking about in the NCF. So the first one is generalized matrix factorization. So as I told you, it is taken as an advanced version of matrix factorization. This is because somehow it is also using a uh, matrix factorization to capture linear relationships. So this particular branch, the left hand side GMF layer is nothing but an element wise product. So we are getting embeddings from user. We are getting embeddings from item, the MF item vector and MF user vector. And then we will be having an element wise product straight away. There is no non-linearity getting captured here. The second part is multi-layer perceptor on MLP. This section is a general deal in multi-layer perceptor having some multiple hidden layers. Activation function uses ReLU, which in uh, which intakes concatenated user and item embeddings. So in this case, we are not concatenating the item, uh, the vectors. We are multi element wise multiplying while before feeding to the MLP part that is multi-layer perceptor on, we are concatenating the MLP user vector and MLP item vector side by side, right? And then feeding it to this particular architecture. Now, once you get an output from the GMF layer and the MLP architecture, we are again concatenating the two outputs into the new MF layer. This concatenation happens at the new MF layer, which is followed by a sigmoid activation function, as you can see, and we get our score. Then we go for training, which is a log loss function, which is very similar to logistic regression that we use. So if we summarize, NCF can be taken as a combination of Embedding layers, which generates four embeddings, GMF, that is a, a generalized version of matrix factorization, MLP, which is nothing but a general DNN, like you can have a normal neural network that you can design, plus new MF layer, where the merger for the output from GMF and an NLP happens.